This module is designed to support those writing program assessment reports and those who are involved in the peer review process for those reports. It is part of Boise State's commitment to continuous improvement in support of our regional and specialized accreditation commitments. As we get started, we are going to pause for a moment so that you can think about the benefits that come with structured and shared program learning outcomes for the faculty who teach in a program. Faculty report that PLOs contribute coherence and connection in their curriculum. They help faculty build structure from the beginning of the degree to the capstone, and they keep everyone on the same page. Program learning outcomes are collaboratively authored, collectively accepted by a program's faculty, and they are framed in terms of the program, not individual courses. They are balanced between breadth and depth. They describe what students will be able to do, not what the faculty do. Good program learning outcomes develop one idea or a set of related ideas. They're written using clear language that will be easily understood by students and outside stakeholders. PLOs describe skills and knowledge that is central to the discipline at a level that can be achieved during the degree program. They're written in a way that are clearly measurable and observable. Some outcomes that you might include for a lesson are not suitable for PLOs. Concepts such as appreciation or understanding are too vague for PLOs. Terms like remember indicate lower level thinking and are not appropriate for PLOs. Bloom's revised taxonomy is helpful to identify verbs that are connected with higher order learning. These outcomes ask for application, analysis, evaluation, or creation. A few frequently asked questions about writing and evaluating PLOs include, how many is the right number? Usually five to seven, though many programs have more. Keep it manageable. Can PLOs be changed? Absolutely. They'll change and evolve with the program and assessment results. How do you know if PLOs are well supported in the curriculum? Your curriculum map and assessment plan should govern that. Our next modules will talk more about those elements. PLOs should be supported from introduction through mastery in a program. For more assistance with this topic, please contact Institutional Research or the Center for Teaching and Learning.